leaving. Bye. Bye. Love you. There's my family, my three wonderful girls. A little funny dog telling me bye. Bye. Love you. adventure and today we brought I brought all three of the boys along and Wyatt this is going to be your first major overnight camping trip into the cabinet mountain wilderness and we're going to be gone two nights and Wyatt how old are you seven Wyatt is seven and I did not go camping overnight I don't think until I was like 13 or 14 so I'm so happy to take my boys Justin and Ethan and Wyatt and we're gonna have fun we're going to go up to a lake it's called Angle Lake maybe we'll do some fishing up there and maybe they will climb a peak we don't know we'll just relax maybe do some swimming and it's gonna be an adventure eat some huckleberries and we brought so much gear it's pathetic but we're all loaded I got 50 pounds over 50 Wyatt how much does Wyatt have about 12 pounds Justin and Ethan each have around around 25 pounds, I think, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, it's a couple, I don't know, three hour hike or something. I don't know, it's like three to four miles. The map looks like three miles, but the book that we have says four miles. So I don't know, we'll see. Might be kind of switched back. I was up here one time with a couple of other guys, but that was quite a while ago during the winter time. I don't really remember how far it was. So anyways, we're off. We're gonna have a good time. We gotta get up there before dark. We got a late start, so. It's already about, what time is it? 5.34. 5.34 in the afternoon, so we have a long ways to go. We'll get there about 9 o'clock probably. Okay, we're off. Well, we're making our way up through here. And we're in here, I think, about a mile and a half. Why it's getting pretty tuckered. He does have a pretty good pack for his size, I guess and his age and uh, so I told him if we take a hundred steps then we can take another break so we're getting there I think he just counted to 100 so we're gonna sit down here for a minute catch our breath trails not extremely far I think it's close to four miles looking at another map back there but it is it is a pretty good uphill climb whole time so Wyatt buddy how's it going good. you still got a smile that's a good thing pretty tired though aren't you mm -hmm. well we're getting close to halfway you're doing good the sausages are gonna taste good aren't they bud here we are at the cabinet mountain wilderness boundary probably about two miles in I'm thinking and now from here on, we're gonna be in the wilderness. It's a really pretty hike right now. We're uh, up here, we just kind of got up on a ridge finally, a pretty steep uphill. And the hermit thrushes are singing. So pretty up here. We've been hiking for about an hour and a half-ish, maybe, now. Well, we just spotted the lake over there probably a good mile or so away. It's right there at the base of those rocks, right where that snow is. So we got a little ways to go yet. Wow, we're coming out to a really pretty spot here. We're looking down onto the, I think the Knox and Reservoir here. Wow, there you can see the dam right there. All the water backed up. Kind of looks like the Blue Ridge Mountains a little bit. It's beautiful, beautiful. What do you think, Ethan? Uh, what do you think? Yep. Just can't beat the view. Wow. And the 
lake is sitting right down there. You can see it through the trees down there. I'm carrying Wyatt's pack now because he was just too wore out, I guess. There's Angle Peak. I think we're going to hit that tomorrow, hopefully. Wyatt, what do you think, buddy? Look at this pretty view on this side. Don't fall off the edge. Look at that. But look at there, there's Angle Lake down there, Angle Peak up there. And panning over here, just look at the mountains over there. I'm gonna have to look at my map. I can't totally place what they are for sure. Might be the backside of Elephant, I think, over there. And then we got some other ones over here. But look at these lakes down here. Oh, this is absolutely spectacular. Just beautiful. It's going towards evening now. And uh, the birds are singing, the shadows are long. And it's just incredible. So amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's the lake sitting right there. Wow. Just standing up here. Absolutely stunning. Look at the mountains. Look at the clouds. The very thrushes are just singing away. Oh, it is absolutely glorious. People could only experience this. It is just invigorating and life-changing. So awesome, and then to do it with your kids. Well, we found Mr. Little Guy crawling on Wyatt's mm -hmm. head right there. A little tick, looking for a place to hide. I don't know what ticks are doing out in July. <clears throat> they typically wouldn't be here. <clears throat> We're hiking down to the lake. Going across this boulder field. Right there's the lake. And it's raining over in the distance there. There's the low ridge where we were at and kind of looked out across and saw the other lakes down there. But it's a beautiful evening. It's kind of cloudy, but I don't think it's supposed to rain. What a beautiful place. We're the only ones in here. I don't think there's gonna be anybody else in here. Hope not. If there was, I don't know how they got in here. To the lake. We're gonna let Wyatt dip his finger in the water first. It's pretty pretty. And we made it. Good job, guys. Woohoo! Good job, Wyatt. And we're gonna set up camp here. We're all excited. Maybe we can catch some fish. The bugs are pretty bad for some reason, but we brought some bug spray, so. We should be good. We finally made it. How long did it take us? Uh, about exactly, almost exactly three hours. Three hours, and that's about, how far? Three and a half miles, I think. So it's kind of steep. I was low on energy, and so we just puttered along. All right, we're gonna set up camp. started pouring rain soon after we got here we just got the tent set up and now it's blowing and raining so I think it's a passing shower hopefully that tent is not super duper weather resistant that wasn't supposed to rain at all I don't know what's going on so we're kind of hunkering underneath the trees here Ethan's trying to catch a couple fish here thought it was raining, now it's pouring. Look at the uh, rain just coming down like crazy. Totally, our fire went out. 
This is amazing. So the rain is just about over with. And we look up, look at that beautiful mountain. The sun's kind of shining on it. And look at that. There's a rainbow above it. Wow. And look at that blue sky coming up. It's been raining for about 15, 20 minutes or something. And it's passing over. Loving it. The fire is somewhat going still. Wyatt is in the tent. Yeah, in the tent. <laughs> and we're gonna make some dinner once this thing passes. It's a beautiful, magical morning. The birds are singing. The sun is out bright. Should have got us some video earlier. It's really hard to see with the sun. Ethan's fishing hasn't caught any fish yet. So this is kind of a shallow end of the lake, so we're thinking probably not too many fish here. We'll go around later today and go around the other side. Justin got a fire going, and we're going to start some breakfast now. This morning we're done with breakfast, and we're heading up to the peak of, to the top of Angle Peak. There's some snow. First snow we're getting into. And Wyatt's doing pretty good this morning. Going up this cliff side here, kind of like an avalanche chute. Beautiful morning after it rained last night, it quit a while, and then it actually rained during the night again, so everything's pretty soggy this morning, but clear blue skies. Whoa, Justin almost, Ethan almost nailed me with the snowball. Clear blue skies and uh, beautiful hike up here to the top of Angle Peak. These plants are just growing out of the this dirt right here because the snow has just receded. Pretty cool. Nothing like fresh mountain spring water or snow water. Here we are going up here. Look at all this snow up here. It's pretty cool. A lot of snow. This is from all the avalanches that came down here. And they're still piled up here. A lot of this snow, I don't see it right here, but a lot of this snow, I see some up there is pink. And there's an algae actually that's in the wat that's in the snow and it turns pink so you don't want to eat it because it's like watermelon snow it it'll give you a it'll make you sick or a bad stomach ache at least I'm trying to go up this rock snow face here a little dicey because it's really hard get up there oh we spotted a marmot there it's sitting big old marmot we're videoing through our binoculars nearing the top finally Whoa. can you see what Oh, careful, bud. Whoa, creaky. Woo! Wow. Look at that view. Oh, man. Wow. That's amazing. We're almost at the top, I think. Why, it's going to be the first one at the peak. Angle Peak. Oh yeah, 7,530 some odd feet. Woohoo! Second peak in a month, three weeks actually. Awesome. What do you say, guys? Yeah, Pretty yeah, sweet. Yeah. Made it, Wyatt. Mm -hmm. High five, buddy. All right. Awesome. So glad to be up here. 
It is uh, beautiful up here, absolutely beautiful. I'll do a 360 for you here. This is looking south. That's the same reservoir we saw last night. And here we're looking west at the west cabinets. And there are the south, we're kind of on the south end of the cabinet mountains. That's looking northwest, mainly north. Or looking up into clear into Canada. And the Glacier Park. Ah, yeah, I can see the mountains of Glacier Park right underneath those white clouds. About, uh, I don't know, 80, 100 miles away. And we live kind of up in that direction or that behind that mountain there. And then we're looking east. And there's a big lake down here, Wanless. And I'm trying to decide exactly where it is. I think it's down in this basin right down here. You just can't see it from here. Wow, wow, pretty cool. And actually, if you guys have been watching my videos and you saw the last two episodes of A Log House in Trout Creek, see that field down there? That's exactly where we were working, on that long road right in the middle of that first field. Because from there, we can see the top of Angle Peak. Pretty cool. That's awesome. Justin and Ethan built this. Big rock pile with Wyatt inside. Oh, do, Wyatt, Wyatt is fed. It's going to go. go. I fixed it. There it is. It's dangerous. Now, I want one. Now he's all covered. He can't get out. Okay, see you, Wyatt. Bye. We're going down again. Yeah, let's go, Ethan. A few other people came up here while we were up here. Okay, that's why it's in the tallest thing on Angle Peak right here. Hi. See you later. Here, Wyatt, where are you at in there? Can, he, can I see you? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Wyatt. Yeah, <laughs> you got to him. Funny. So, a couple weeks ago when we had the bachelor party, we were all the way over in that bare ridge right there looking this direction. We took a hike. We're heading off the peak here. I almost took a little nap while the boys built that big rock tarn, but it was a little bit rocky. It's hard to sleep. Okay, well, as is the tradition, we can't come up here without swimming, even though I'm dreading it like you wouldn't believe, because there's ice water flowing into the lake. And it's warm, but it's not hot out. So I'm about perfect without swimming, but the boys want to swim, so here we go. We got to go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Woo! Oh, yeah. Woo! Nice and fresh. Oh, hold it. Uh. Here it goes. Oh, yeah. sawing wood, making some firewood. While I lay in the hammock. It's a beautiful evening. A few other people came up here now. Not quite as secluded as we thought it was. But we had last night to ourselves at least. But just a picturesque place here. Quite beautiful. Oh, I see some smoke. I think Wyatt's trying to light a fire. I didn't know that. Maybe it's just the matches smoke. <laughs> I got a saw in there sawing some logs. A couple hours we'll eat some dinner. It's pretty cool to see older brother teaching younger brother how to start a fire. Showing him how to use a lighter use sticks. It's a way to do it. And Ethan's up there logging, getting some firewood. Oh, 
Okay, I'm uh, cooking up the, the meal here. Because I don't have a saucepan, I'm doing everything in my coffee uh, maker or this um, water pot. So I just made the first course of mac and cheese, uh, and now I'm having mashed potatoes. And then the uh, third course is, I'm not sure yet, probably dessert of some kind. So uh, anyway, that's what we're doing right now. We got, uh, we got the mac and cheese down, and we're uh, cooking, uh, almost ready to eat these taters now. And Ethan got a fish. Wow, he's been fishing out here for literally hours. And he finally got one. Uh oh, fell down. I don't think it can get away. Where is it at? Oh, wow, Ethan, that is a beauty. That's a beauty. Look at that thing, Ethan. Lift it, hold it up. That's a. Uh, how big is that thing? 12, 13 inches. That's amazing. Good job, Ethan. Wyatt's already tucked into bed. He wants me to come, so I think I'll go and snuggle with Wyatt for a little bit. So tomorrow is the third day we've been here, two nights, and this was a full day, and tomorrow we'll leave about noon, so I think you're having fun, Ethan. <laughs> All right. So this morning, we're having a breakfast. Oh, there goes some ash. Having a breakfast of uh, bacon, sausage links, <clears throat> hash browns, and then we're gonna have the fish that Ethan caught. We're gonna have some waffles that we brought from home that were left over that we're gonna heat up with maple syrup. We're gonna have uh, eggs with sausage uh, in them. What do you think, Wyatt? Sound good? Then we're gonna have some tea from our garden. So this is just about ready. You gotta fry it a little bit more here. And then we're gonna start chowing. Now I don't have, I forgot a couple things. Uh, one thing I forgot was a spatula, so I'm just using a stick to do everything. So we're gonna, we have to kinda eat by courses because then we'll have one pan. So we're gonna eat all this stuff while I get the waffles heated up and I'll slap the eggs in there, make some scrambled eggs. So that's breakfast this morning. So there's why. <clears throat> So why it's showing you the fish that Ethan caught, we're gonna fry that thing up. And all we do is we just make a little cut right underneath the, the mouth here. And then you can just basically pull the whole thing off of there, the, all the insides come out of it. So, perfect, we're gonna eat it. So for first course we had waffles, bacon, sausage, and what else do we have? hash browns. Now for this next serving, we're making a goulash of scrambled eggs with a different kind of sausage. And that's gonna be for for uh, the second course. So then we got tea that we're brewing that we're almost ready to eat. And I think after that, we're almost like stuffed. So definitely a lot of food. Okay, well, we're all packed up and we're ready to head out of here. Did we have a good time, guys? Yeah. 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 Did you like it, Wyatt? Mm -hmm. This is your first major camping trip, so. Okay, we're going to uh, see what time it is when we get up to partways up the trail. We might decide to run down to another lake, one of these lower lakes that were down there, to see if we can catch any fish. We're running low on time, but we've got to be home by a certain time. But we'll see. We might want to run down there. And uh, anyways, it's what a perfect day. We're getting ready to hike out of here. Our packs are a little bit lighter than they were coming in. We ate a lot of food. We were so full we didn't eat that fish. We ended up, we we're gonna carry it home, I guess. So off we go. Well, we're hiking out and we're getting close to the truck. It's been a good trip. 
So pretty hiking through these trees.